for indications where immobilization of the wrist and elbow is required. For example, fractures of the elbow joint or short arm. Define the position of the limb before the start of the application. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain. Take a double thumb length of 2.5 cm or 1 inch width of stockinette and cut. Then choose the appropriate width of stockinette for the arm. Measure the length from the upper arm to the distal end of the fingers. Add another 20 cm or 8 inches and cut. Make a cut into the thumb stockinette and slide it over the thumb, smoothing it down. Cut a hole into the arm stockinette at thumb height and roll it up before applying onto the limb to prevent sliding pressure during application. Roll off over the arm and smooth down, ensuring the thumb hole does not constrict the patient. Apply padding to the limb. Make sure you have enough to protect bony prominences. Cut a small hole into the padding roll and slide over the thumb. Pass the padding twice through the web space. Continue wrapping the padding around the arm, going proximally. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying plaster of Paris. Select the appropriate width of the plaster of Paris bandage. Fold the bandage into six layers at the length needed to fit the patient. Pick up the bandage in a zigzag shape. Activate the splint by dipping into cool water, holding the ends and maintaining the splint fold. Remove from water and gently squeeze to drain. Straighten out the splint and run it over the edge of the bucket to smooth and dispose of surplus water. Prepare a second splint as before. Apply the first splint onto the patient's lower arm and gently smooth down. Cut away any surplus splint. Then apply the second splint onto the upper arm, overlapping with the first splint by intertwining the layers. Cut the splint to size. To secure the splint, wrap with a bandage starting at the hand, passing through the web space once. Continue wrapping going proximally, overlapping the bandage by 50%. Cut the bandage and secure. Fold down the arm stockinette at the proximal end. Cut into the thumb stockinette and fold down. Make a small cut at the distal end of the arm stockinette. Fold it down and pass the thumb through the cut. Smooth edges provide skin protection and comfort. Using a second bandage, wrap distally to proximally. Anchor at the wrist and wrap twice through the web space and around the thumb. Proceed up the arm, overlapping the bandage by 50% and fix the bandage.
check the desired range of motion and any points that may cause irritation or pressure. After approximately three to five minutes, the splint is set and the patient can be released. After 24 hours, the splint is fully set.